Hi guys, uh, just wanted to show you a little bit about uh, Clean Flight's LED programming. Um, as you can see, I've got my LEDs here. These are just the standard LEDs, uh, very cheap to get off eBay. So uh, just one color. Um, I've been running red on mine. These are 12 volts. Uh, to get the power to these, it was just simply connected to my um, dis power distribution board on my QAV 250, and uh, it was you know uh, worked well enough. Um, you could see it from very far away. It helped with the orientation, and uh, if you were racing along with other people, they could see you easily too. Uh, and it also looks really cool. Uh, it gives a cool effect when you're flying together. Now uh, in Clean Flight, you can actually program the LEDs uh, to, to show a certain color and to do certain things. Uh, to do that I'm using these which are the 5 volt uh, LEDs. These are RGB, uh, red, green, blue and um, I got these from uh, Radio C. Let me just see if we can get this up and running here. Uh, radioc.co.uk that's where I actually got mine from uh, you can see them here so for a strip of 10 it's only uh, £2.70 uh, so as you can see I'm running the clean flight here I've got the clean flight system open and that's what I'm using to program these particular LEDs now if we have a little look on, on the uh, LEDs themselves you can see we've got a ground uh, the middle is our, um, our signal and then we have our 5 volts on the other side so you can see you can actually cut these uh, every one of them in fact and what's nice about this is you can fully program uh, through clean flight um, all of these LEDs uh, to show a particular color to do a particular uh, thing so if you change your um, uh, arm your board then you can have it all of the, all of the LEDs change or a particular LEDs change to a certain color to let you know that your board is now armed and active um, including you can have uh, orientation lights and throttle uh, differences and things so as you put your throttle up it changes um, to get the um, power and the signal in it's uh, really simple let me just move this out of the way if we have a look on a uh, nice flight controller uh, you can see here where we actually plug the uh, ESCs into we've got all these prongs here and we've got a negative and a positive so we've got our uh, ground and 5 volt positive to power the LEDs so that's how I'm going to power mine up if I just pick them up so we can see on here we've got our um, plus 5 volts here so I'll plug that in to the middle on one of the spare ports um, on the outside we've got our ground so I'll plug that one in there and for the LED signal it actually goes here onto number 5 and that's the basic wiring up of this uh, actual LED strip. So you can have more than 10. I've got 10 here at the moment. You can continue around. I think it's about 32 that you can program into it. Uh, but that's the basic wiring up. So if I uh, actually install this onto my other nays that I've got plugged in here, we can actually have a look at it in operation. So just like I showed you uh, on that other nays, this is uh, wired up in the exact same way. Except now, when I power up the quad, we should get the LEDs to light up. So, there we go, we've got our LEDs lit up. As you can see at the moment, I've got it fig uh, configured so we have all of these here a certain colour. And the out, uh, outer sides were for orientation. So if I change my throttle, you'll see that the, the color changes too, which is uh, quite nice. Um, I can also, uh, as I mentioned, um, when I change and arm the board, you can see that they change color. And then when the throttle goes off, you'll see that the color changes too. And I disarm the board and we go back to safe. So I can, can can, can completely uh, configure these. If I go on to uh, Clean Flight and Connect, go to the LED strip. So the outer LEDs here, you can see I've got outer uh, set as purple. Uh, so if I choose these outer LEDs, you can see I've got color selected and color 12. Um, if I went to, uh, for argument's sake, color two and went to save, we can see that I've now configured that LED to be red. If I wanted the other one on the outer to be red, I could uh, change that to uh, 
oh, what color did I choose? There we go. So uh, the numbers here are kind of like a color palette. You can choose a different number and uh, have that um, color displayed. Uh, so if I wanted to change some of the uh, center ones, I could uh, pick a color and, and, and change them too. Um, so as you can see, I've got throttle and my arming state set on these at the moment. Uh, so the throttle is this. So as I put my throttle up and down, we can see it changing. And the arming state is um, basically when the board's armed. So that's uh, very simple. Um, there's so much more that you can do with these. So uh, again, go into these two LEDs on the outside. We'll use these uh, for reference. Uh, I can select ring and press save. So now when I'm armed, you can see that it's actually flashing. And when my throttle goes up, you'll see that the flashing changes to And this arm again. So uh, when you select ring, you, it actually means that the um, LED is going to flash. So again, you can configure all of these to flash if you want to. You can do individual ones uh, and uh, to what color that you choose as well. So uh, for argument's sake, let's go again to the uh, far right hand side one here. Select ring and save. Uh, for some reason, that one's gone off. Let's have a look. Arm. You see that they are now flashing and disarm. Don't know why that's actually changed colour. What have I missed? Save. Two, two. Oh, I'm not sure why that's actually changed colour, uh, gone off. And then only comes on when it's armed. Um, so as you can see, you can't make mistakes like me. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to disable the ring on there because I, I don't really want them flashing. There we go. Seems to be a, a little small bug in that happening there. So, arm. Um, there we go, not flashing anymore. So uh, yeah, these LEDs are completely configurable. I can change the, the colors to whatever I want uh, using the, um, the um, software. Uh, as I mentioned before, you can set certain ones as indicators and, and things. So uh, that's gonna help you with your orientation. If you wanna have maybe a single LED on the corner of your quad, a particular color, and that's certainly going to help. Um, and you can set any of these LEDs to do multiple things. So you can have arming states, throttles, indicators, the lot. You can you can set any of these LEDs to, to do that. And it, as you can see, it's uh, very simple to do. Um, one thing you will have to do before getting to this stage, obviously, is to, to wire it up. Um, go to your configuration. Go down and enable the LED strip. And then save and reboot. And uh, hopefully it should start working then. But that was just uh, really a, a quick look at the uh, features that are available with Clean Flight. Uh, I need to install all this now and program my knees and go out and try and fly it. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.